everyone, Tim Schofield here from KiwiKing77.com here to do a video showing you how to install the Android M developer preview on your Nexus device. Right now it's supporting the Nexus 5, Nexus 6, Nexus 9, and Nexus Player. So at the time of this video, I'm gonna show you on a Nexus 5. Now make note, this is a developer preview. So it's for developers. I would not recommend installing it just for a regular user. If you wanna try it out, great. This will wipe all of your data. So make note of that as well. Okay, so let's get this going. It doesn't matter if you're rooted or completely stock. It does not matter. You will need to unlock your bootloader. I'll show you how to do that in this video. Anyways, go to settings, scroll all the way to the bottom, go to about, phone and then go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom and quickly tap on build number about seven times uh, so go ahead and do that press back and then you'll see developer options go into it in the settings and then turn USB debugging on and also real quick if you have a device like a Nexus 9 or Nexus 6 you need to check the OEM unlocking allow and enable uh, OEM unlocking because we need to have an unlock bootloader flash the factory image Okay, and once USB debugging is on, and if necessary, enable OEM unlock is checked and on. We're ready to go. You need to go ahead and set up the Android SDK and ADB on your computer. I have a very simple tutorial video in the description. I'll link to it if you've never done it. It's very easy. Go do it. You need to do it so you can type some command prompts to get this flashed. All right, and once you have the Android ADB and SDK tool set up on your computer, we need to download the specific file. Now, it's important to select the right one. It's pretty obvious if you have a Nexus 5, you want to download the Nexus 5 file, etc. I will post the download link in the description of the video, so go to it, click on it, download it. It'll be the factory image. It'll be a .tgz file, I believe. Okay, and once you have that file completely downloaded and the Android SDK set up, you want to double click on that file that we just downloaded. It's going to open up a I've used 7-zip. It's a zip file, and I'm going to double click on it. So use 7-zip or a program that's like that. And and inside, you will see a folder here. I'll just recommend transferring that folder into the Android SDK folder that we have on our desktop here. So you'll see it's right here. And then I'm gonna actually transfer that folder into the platform tools folder as well within that. So just so I know where everything is, you'll see I have that hammerhead uh, folder right there. But now we need to actually unlock the bootloader on our device real quick. It's very easy, so uh, real simple. Plug your device into your computer real quick. And once we have our device plugged in, I want you to go to that Android SDK folder again, double click on platform tools, and right, hold shift on your keyboard, right click somewhere within that folder without not on a file, and hit open command window here. It's gonna open up a command prompt. It's gonna say Android SDK platform tools, etc. And I want you to type ADB space devices. It's gonna go ahead and recognize the device plugged in. Okay, so ADB devices, it looks like it didn't show up my device. So if this happens to you, if it's this device not found, I want you to go ahead and up, uh, go to device manager, right click on it and hit uh, update driver software. And I want you to br uh, search, auto browse my computer, I'm sorry. And then I want you to hit let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. And here is where you wanna select the right one. Um, you can try the different ones, um, but I'm gonna recommend Google Nexus ADB interface. I believe that's the one that works with the Nexus 5 specifically. However, it might be different depending on the device. So uh, I'll link to the device drivers you need in the description to install. But if that's an issue, there you go. All right, and once I changed that, um, it actually brought up a screen, allow USB debugging. You need to check OK on this, otherwise it's not gonna work. I'm gonna check always allow from this computer and press OK. If you don't do that, you're not gonna be able to type in command. So if that's a problem, unplug, replug your device in. Anyways, if I type ADB devices, it's gonna show a list. Now what I want you to type is ADB space reboot hyphen bootloader. So we need to go into the bootloader to unlock it. Okay, you'll see on the bottom of my device it says unlocked already. So mine's already unlocked, but you just need to type fastboot space OEM space unlock and press enter. See mine failed, it says already unlocked, but now once that happens, if you type that in, go to your device, use the volume keys to navigate and power button to select, it'll say, hey, are you sure you want a factory, uh, uh, unlock the bootloader because it's gonna factory reset your device. Everything's gonna be wiped, like I said. So yeah, go ahead and follow the phone to unlock your bootloader. Mine's already unlocked, so I don't need to unlock it. So once it's done uh, unlocking, let's go ahead and reboot our device. All right, and once your device's bootloader is unlocked, hopefully if your bootloader was already unlocked, you skipped to this part. Let's go ahead and get the device back into the bootloader actually. So on your computer, go back into that platform tools folder, hold shift, right click open command window and then just type adb reboot hyphen bootloader again and press enter it's going to reboot into the bootloader now 
Once it's in the bootloader like so, I want you to, in that platform tools folder, remember we transferred over that specific folder. My, yours might not say hammerhead, yours will say whatever your specific device is. Double click on that folder, and inside you'll see a flash all.bat that actually wasn't working on Lollipop for me, so we might have to do it manually, but let's try it. So double click on it, and you'll see here, it's going to reboot the device like so, and then other things, it's, it'll give you a status of everything that it's flashing on the device. We'll see if it actually runs through and actually does everything. Hopefully it will. Again, like I said, this is gonna wipe everything. Just, you'll see update packages missing system.img. So let's just manually do it. I'm gonna press any key to exit. All right, now to manually install these images, you're, you're inside that folder still. Just go ahead and select everything and just copy it or cut it and paste it into that platform tools folder like so. So you'll see we have all the files here in the platform tools folder. Now, what I want you to do is double click on this zip file right in here. You'll see a bunch of image files. I want you to highlight all of them. You can cut it out of the image or copy it, either one, and then just go ahead and paste it into this uh, platform tools folder as well. So you're gonna need to have all of those files pasted into the platform tools folder. All right, and once you have that done, I want you to just hold shift, right click, Open command window here again. While we're in the bootloader, you still need to be in the bootloader on your Nexus device. Now, um, what we're gonna need to do is actually type some commands. So type fastboot, space, flash, space, bootloader, space, and now after bootloader, what you need to do is find the bootloader image so you'll see this is the bootloader image. It might not say hammerhead. It's not going to unless you're on a Nexus 5. So you'll see right here, copy that whole name and then right click at the top of your command prompt, hit edit, and then paste in that file name. And make sure it says .img at the end because it's going to need to to flash. So now press enter. There we go, it's gonna write the bootloader. Now type fastboot space reboot hyphen bootloader. Our Nexus 5 or ne your Nexus device is going to reboot back into the bootloader. Now type fastboot space flash space radio. Now find your radio file. So go into here, you'll see a radio file right here. Uh, go ahead and select everything, uh, highlight it and copy the text. Then inside your command prompt, click at the top, hit edit and paste. So paste in that image uh, file, that's the radio. You make sure it says .img at the end. You can edit in if it doesn't. And press enter. Now it's gonna flash that radio. Okay, it failed because I didn't put a space after radio. So I'm gonna hit edit and paste in that image file again and press enter. There we go, it's gonna send the radio, it's gonna write the radio. All right, once that's done, again, reboot into the bootloader, fast boot fa space reboot hyphen bootloader and press enter. And then once it's back into the bootloader, I want you to type fastboot space flash space system space system dot img. Remember those files that we transferred over? That's what the name of them were, so press enter. It's going to take a bit of time. This is gonna be the longest one. This is gonna take a long time to flash, so be patient with it. All right, so that took a bit of time, like I said. Now let's go to the next command. Fast, let's reboot back into the bootloader. So fastboot space reboot hyphen bootloader again. And then once it's back into the bootloader, let's type fastboot space flash space user data space user data dot img. This is going to be factory resetting our device. Press enter. All right, so we had an unknown error sending user data for some reason. So I'm going to manually restart bootloader on your Nexus device. You can do that with the volume keys and power button to select. And then once you do that, we can type in some more commands. Okay, so let's type in that user data one again. So fastboot space flash space user data space user data dot IMG and press enter, let that do its thing. All right, this time no error, so we should be good to go. Now let's continue, type fastboot space flash space recovery space recovery dot IMG press enter. All right, that one's done. Now fast boot space flash space boot space boot dot IMG. Press enter. That one's done. Now fast boot erase cache. Enter. Now what we need to do is space fast boot space flash cache space cache dot IMG and press enter. And then that should be just about it. We are all done. So we can just type fast boot space reboot. And our Nexus device is going to reboot and it should reboot us into Android M. Now I don't know if there's an updated boot animation or anything. Let's check it out now. Okay, it looks like no updated boot animation, anything like that with Android M. I'm gonna let it boot up. Be patient, I'll be back to show you guys we're on Android M, all that good stuff. Hopefully it worked for you. All right, here we go, fully booted up now. Warning, preview version of Android system image subject to change, all that good stuff. 
and here it is. So a different uh, startup screen, but that's it. I'm gonna do a full review of all this, all this stuff. So go ahead and check out my review. I'll link to it in the description. That's how you install it. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, all links in the description video below. As always guys, thank you very much for watching.